Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. Welcome to our Easter celebration here at Lutheran Church of the Master, an Easter like no other. Thank you for joining me and the whole body of Christ as we worship and pray together. I give thanks to God for Steve Schlesing, who produced this video. I give thanks to God for Terry Halbert and John McCormick and James Wodzinski, who also contribute to it, especially I look forward to you watching James as he leads us in the Lord's Prayer later. Remember to check your email, the church website, the church Facebook page for information about things moving forward. You can join me Wednesdays for a virtual Bible study on Zoom and Sundays at four for our congregational chat as well on Zoom. If you are able, please consider to continue to support Lutheran Church of the Master financially. You can contribute online through our website or, or through the mail. Your generosity is sustaining this ministry, and for that, we give thanks to God. If you are in urgent need of necessities, please contact the church, and we will do what we can for you and take care of you. Stay safe, take proper precautions, wash your hands, be of good courage. And now, hear the Easter proclamation. Rejoice now, all heavenly choirs of angels, and celebrate the divine mysteries with exaltation. And for the victory of so great a king, sound the trumpet of salvation. Exalt, O earth, enlightened with such radiance, and made brilliant by the splendor of the eternal king. Know the ancient darkness has been banished from all the world. Be glad, O Mother Church, clothed with the right brightness of such a light. It is indeed right and salutary that we should with full devotion of heart and mind and voice praise the invisible God, the Father Almighty, and his only Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who paid for us the debt of Adam to the Eternal Father, and who by his precious blood redeemed us from bondage. For this indeed is the Paschal Feast in which the true Lamb is slain, by whose blood the doorposts of the faithful are made holy. We remember in ancient times you delivered our forebears, the children of Israel, from the land of Egypt, and led them dry shod through the, through the Red Sea. This is the day in which all who believe in Christ are rescued from evil and the gloom of sin, are renewed in grace and holiness by the rising brightness. This is the day in which, breaking the chains of death, Christ arises from hell in triumph. We therefore pray to you, O Lord, that you will continue to vanquish the darkness of this world and faithfully shed light on all the human race through the same Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and rules with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. O God, you gave your only Son to suffer death on the cross for our redemption. And by his glorious resurrection, you delivered us from the power of death. Make us die every day to sin, that we may live with him forever in the joy of the resurrection. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, the 28th chapter. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descending from heaven came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guard shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised, as he said. Come see the place where he lay, then go quickly and tell his disciples. He has been raised from the dead, and indeed, he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came to him, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. 
This is an Easter like no other, and it is not the Easter we want. It is not an Easter filled with the sneezy scent of lilies throughout the church. It is not an Easter like I've always envisioned where every single adult woman in the congregation is wearing an Easter bonnet. Maybe someday that dream will be fully realized for me as well. It's not the Easter we want, but it is the Easter we have. It's an Easter that feels more like Good Friday, an Easter that feels like a time of loss and emptiness. Or maybe better yet, an Easter that's more like Holy Saturday, the day in between, the day in between the crucifixion and the resurrection, the day of waiting. We know a lot about waiting in these times. There's lots of waiting going on in our lives. There are people waiting to get better from COVID-19. There are people waiting for test results to come back. We're all waiting for shelter in place, orders to be lifted. We're waiting for a sense of normalcy to return. We're waiting for a treatment, for a cure, for a vaccine. While we wait, we learn. We're learning a little bit about Easter, I think. I think we're relearning what we've talked about in a new way. We're learning, again, that Easter doesn't come without Good Friday. That without the cross, without the suffering and dying, you can't get to the empty tomb and the resurrection. We're also learning to value people that used to be invisible. We're now talking about essential workers as people like garbage collectors and grocery clerks, grocery store workers and delivery people and mail carriers and all those people in the supply chain that help to put food on our shelves and food in our tables, food in our stomachs, that help to keep things flowing and keep us connected. All those people who are so invisible We've always lifted up healthcare workers now more than ever, and we give thanks to God for their sacrifice, for their diligence, for their serving. But until now, we never thought that being a Kroger cashier was a dangerous job, and yet in many ways it is. This Easter, we're reminded about who Jesus is. Jesus does what he does for the sake of the world and for the sake of others. The first Sunday in Lent, every year, we always read the temptation story. We read the story of Jesus being tempted by Satan in the wilderness, where the devil offers him everything for himself, and Jesus declines it. And then he goes to the cross so that he can give everything to others for the sake of the world. Jesus does what he does not for himself, but for others, for us, for the whole world. And that's really a lesson that we are all learning in these days. Because as we follow the shelter in place orders and instructions, as we keep social distance and physical distance from one another, as we wear masks in public, on the one hand, we do those things to keep ourselves and our families safe, to keep ourselves from getting the disease, from contracting the virus. But especially with regards to wearing masks, from what I'm given to understand, I don't wear my mask so much for me as I do for you. That we all might have a part of the virus to share, unfortunately. And so I wear my mask to keep whatever I have with me so I don't give it to you. And you wear your mask for me. And you shelter in place to keep me safe as much as to keep you safe. And to keep especially this vulnerable population safe. Last week, I watched John Krasinski's new internet, tel internet show. John Krasinski played Jim on The Office. I'm sure you'd recognize him. He has a show called SGN, Some Good News. And in this, he shares nothing but good news. In his first episode, at the end of it, he showed a video clip from a woman named, a young woman named Courtney Johnson. Courtney's 15 years old, and she has just completed her last chemotherapy treatment. And the video shows her in her car driving home, and as she pulls onto her street, the street is lined with cars, all keeping careful distance, but decorated, and horns are honking, and lights flashing, and family and friends are there to celebrate her return home. 
And later in the episode, after the video, John interviews Courtney, young 15-year-old girl, completely bald head. And he's talking to her, and she says, thank you to everyone who is staying home. Thank you, because you staying home helps protect immunocompromised people like me. Because if I get COVID-19, it's probably going to kill me. We're not doing these things just for ourselves. We're doing them for others and for the sake of the world. This is not the Easter we want. It's not an Easter where we're going to celebrate all of the traditions that we normally do. The churches will not be packed. But the women did go to the tomb that Easter morning. They took spices they had prepared to care for the body of their beloved friend who had died. And when they got there, they found the stone rolled away. And they heard that great good news. He is not here. He is risen. And nothing not sheltering in place, not having to wear masks, not, not social or physical distance, not COVID-19, nothing can change that great good news. For the Easter story is true, and we hold fast to the promise. And together we say, Alleluia, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. Amen. Uplifted by the promised hope of healing and resurrection, we join the people of God in all times and places in praying for the church, the world, and all who are in need. God of resurrection, from the very beginning you give the church the gift of women as your witnesses, as preachers, teachers, and leaders. Open our ears to their proclamation this day and always. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All the peoples of the earth are impacted by coronavirus. We are worried and anxious and long to see reminders of hope and resurrection. Open our eyes to see signs of the promise of life and help us be a blessing to all whom we encounter. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The countries of the world experience disunity and conflict. We set our minds on fear and greed rather than on your rule of justice and steadfast love. Build up all countries on your cornerstones of peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We still weep with those who weep and mourn with those who mourn. Cradle the fearful, the suffering, and the dying, assuring them of your loving presence. Especially, we pray for Judy, Amy, Brian, John, Addie, Doretta, Marianne, Anna, Liv, and all who serve to protect and defend our nation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy One, we are not celebrating Easter as we would desire, and we long for a time to be together in praise and worship. Help us deepen our connection to one another while we are apart, and remind us of the Easter promise of hope every day. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Risen Lord, you went ahead of us into the grave and defeated the powers of evil. We remember those who have died. Inspire us to live our lives in this resurrection hope and draw us to you in our final days. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. With bold confidence in your love, Almighty God, we place all for whom we pray into your eternal care. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Good morning, Lutheran Church of the Master. My name is James, and I will be leading you in the Lord's Prayer for today. Would you fold your hands and bow your heads with me? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
and us as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for being part of this worship experience here at Lutheran Church of the Master as we celebrate Easter together. Thank you to all who have contributed. Continue to check our Facebook page, our email, your email from the church and, uh, and, our, and our website for uh, announcements and upcoming events. Join us Wednesdays at noon and Sundays at four as we gather together. Please contact the church if you are in need. If you are able, please continue to support the church financially. We give thanks to God for your faithful generosity, mailing in gifts, and giving through the church website online. Stay safe. Take proper precautions. Wash your hands. Wear your mask. Be of good courage and trust in the Easter promise, for Christ is risen. Let us pray. O oh God, you've called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Christ is risen indeed. Hallelujah.